Afternoon everyone, Yasumiko Kambala here from beinghuman.com, International Center of Awareness. Ta -ta -da! <laughs> Hi, I'm going to explain to you something about your software and everyone's software and how it works. I'm going to take you to the base of cause and effect and explain to you how cause and effect works. So if you're wearing socks, it'd be a good idea to take them off because I'm going to blow them away. Right. Here is your subconscious ego. It works on subconscious mind programs and I'll show you the format that these subconscious mind programs start. So you get to understand what the hell's going on. Subconscious ego. Good guy or good girl, good being. The flame, which is, uh, where's my finger, over here, somewhere, over here, will give you what you want. This little being here has to create a cause to get an effect. So that work means it works on a triangle system. Here we go. Made this cool little sign. Cause. The subconscious ego has to create a course first before anything happens. I'm unsure if this is, I think this is the chicken and I think the effect is the egg, but in saying that, <laughs> the subconscious mind creates a course. Something happens in the cause, and the energy goes from the cause to the effect. The effect, you could call that attention, you could call that personal acknowledgement, you could call it reaction. Makes no difference. You skin it all back down, it's effect. Okay? Now, when we or the subconscious mind gets an effect, it receives energy. When this effect is positive, the subconscious mind perceives that the effect is love. So according to the sub, it creates this, gets effect and goes, wow, I'm being loved because the energy, the positive energy, here we go, the positive energy of the effect is perceived as love. Everyone likes to have a little bit of positive effect. Now, this is the simplest equation. And what you have to understand you have to work out for yourself how your subconscious creates a cause. The energy goes across and how the effect is received and the energy is sent back to you being the subconscious ego. If, let's start with, let's just do children. Be a lot easier. If a child does something good for a cause. Let's say it gets up and washes the dishes. The child washes the dishes, mum or dad or the guardian or the brother, whoever it is, Nana, goes, well done, that's fantastic, and gives the boy or the girl positive attention, and the effect goes back to the child, goes, and the subconscious goes, wow, if I do the dishes, I get positive effect. And if I get positive effect, I feel loved. I have purpose. I have belonging and connection. So, the subconscious mind goes, I'll put that in the filing cabinet and I'll put a program on there for income program. It's a triangle program saying, if you do the dishes, or let's say we can expand it, help round home and be a good wee boy or a good wee girl helping mum or dad out, with the domestic situation at home. 
they're going to recognize that, give you some positive effect, and you're going to feel loved. Now, the subconscious mind's going to store that away. And the person who has this program, when they grow up to be an adult, they're going to be programmed to do the domestics in the house because they're programmed to get positive, positive effect, pers positive personal acknowledgement, uh, a positive reaction, and love for doing the domestics subconsciously. This is called effectual love. Well, that's what I call it anyway, because you have to create a cause to get an effect before you can get love. Let's say you give a child um, I don't know, a plate of food, dinner, and the child goes, thank you, and the parents go, wow, that's good, and the child actually gets some positive effect out of being polite and thank you, saying thank you, and therefore they'll get positive effect, and mum and dad or uh, the guardian will be happy, and the subconscious go far out. It's another way I get love. So that may, So what I'm trying to explain to you that some people, well, we all have programs to do positive things, to get positive effect, and therefore the subconscious thinks it's love. And by the way, that child, um, they will be a very polite person because they'll be programmed that if you have good manners and respect for your parents, you're going to get positive attention and you're going to get love out of it. Now, if that child, let's just say this child, you give that child something and it throws a negative and it jumps up and down and screams and pushes the meal off the high chair or off the table and uh, creates a hell of a scene. Now, if the parents go, oh gosh, we better get him or her what they want because that's not very good. So then the parents go away and change what the food was to what that child wants, which is positive effect because the child is actually getting what it wants. The subconscious mind will program itself. I have to be negative. I have to be a little poop at the dinner table to get positive effect. <laughs> That's the trick of the trade. One of my programs was with my mum was a very busy woman. And I knit, I used to get a certain amount of positive effect for being a polite boy because I was brought up to be a red boy. But I never really got much effect otherwise because mum was always busy. So what my subconscious worked out was throw a negative, get sick. Make yourself horizontal. Give yourself your ammonia. Stuff up your lungs. That's a negative. But mum would put me as a priority. So therefore, I got positive effect out of being sick. Because mum would come and sit on the bed, read me stories, and her bride in the Secret Seven. So you have to understand that the subconscious mind has no worries with either making a positive cause or a negative one. As long as it gets a positive reaction or positive effect from somewhere. Even a child, you know, or a... Because I go child because you have to remember our mind programming finishes is full by seven years old. So I'm saying child stuff. Even if the child... Let's say the child was a cheeky little so-and-so. And he told lies. And, uh, but people thought he was funny, which is a positive effect. So the subconscious mind goes, wow, that's interesting. If I'm a cheeky little so-and-so, and I tell lies, and I'm naughty, and people laugh at me, I get love. Think what that does to a mind programming to an adult. Whatever the child does to get positive effect will be programmed into them by this little being here. This being here has got 12 senses, five physical senses and seven non-tangible senses. This thing here has got eyes coming out of its whoopsie. Please remember. <laughs> so, think about it. 
and this includes income. I'll, I'll get into a little bit of that in, in a minute. The mind program, your subconscious mind, that whatever you want, which is the effect, whatever you want, it'll put it here. And it will go into your mind programming storehouse to find out what you have to do as a cause to get the energy from the effect. Some people, we all actually have negative mind programs to create a negative situation to get a positive cause. And we all have creating a positive cause to get a positive effect as well you know, as in love. As soon as your subconscious mind thinks that you have a purpose, that goes straight into your heart chakra, and that's the loved one, all right? However the positive or negative plays out, if you throw a negative, or if someone throws a negative, let's say the child again throws a negative, and they get really told off by mum and dad, and it's... It's all negative from mum and dad. However, if the subconscious mind sees that the brother is smiling, sees that the sister thinks it funny, or their friends, if he, if that child goes from home after being told off, goes to school and tells his friends, and all his friends give him positive effect, he'll be programmed to do that to his parents or her parents to get positive effect in another reality, as in school. Okay, this thing here will jump realities. It will make the child do something negative at home and get positive somewhere else. So therefore, that will turn up as an adult being negative at home, but going to work or going to sports practice or going to see his mates down the local and everyone thinks it's funny. That, that's how the programming will play out. Now, I'll just give you a little bit more of a snippet here. This, this arrow here coming back to you, the effect arrow. Let's say you want some income in life. And you want some blue income, which includes money, because the blue energy is tangible. Your subconscious mind is programmed from a child to create, I presume, something blue, something positive for you to get income and it will have a uh, an itemized list on what you have to cause before you can allow the effect the tangible effect of the money coming back to you now this list never changes and this is subconscious so no matter what you think in your conscious noodle makes no difference to this because if this child here is programmed to do a, a, a tick list for his, his or her cause to get money, you may decide to change your career when you are 30 or 40 or 50. And if you miss all this tick list, I'm sorry, this will never happen. Because you will be programmed to have this for cause to get the money. Now that's in a tangible reality. Um, another one for the tangible reality, some people have, I have to lose something before I can receive something. Have a look at that one, okay? Or I have to have something broken before I can have something new. That's a negative cause, okay? Just keep an eye on it, this is going into your matrix, I'm just giving you the basics, you have a think about it. Right. Now, the red and the blue that Irani and I go on about, the blue is the tangible and it's got money written all over it. Now, the red arrow is the red body is the emotional body. So if you wish to have some emotional company, however that manifests, Everyone has got a programming that your subconscious has to write again an itemized list as a cause before you can organ before you can receive a positive effect 
hopefully it's positive, from someone in your reality. And that's a red triangle. We have red triangles, ding, and blue triangles. One's for tangibility and one's for feelings and emotions. Some people, they only, they only get negative, negative effect from human beings. So the subconscious goes far out. Those two-legged things, they're too hard to handle. I tell you what, go get yourself a pet. Find someone with something with four legs. Perhaps fluffy would be good. Maybe with a tail. And when you manifest a four-legged or two-legged bird, fish, plants, and they give you positive effect, you'll be programmed to have a pet to get positive emotional effect. This simple triangle, it's massive because this is how we get our love and this is how we get our energy. And on top of this, you know how I said you'll do something wrong at home and you'll get positive effects somewhere else? It works on perimeters. Some people get more positive from being positive away from home. Let's say someone's programmed to do positive things away from home and at work or at school. They're the same programming. Sometimes people are programmed to be outside, positive, so they can get their positive effect. If they are inside, they're busy being negative and they never get any purpose or effect. These will be set in concrete, well, pretty well concrete, inside your subconscious mind programs. We, and that is everyone on the planet, because this is the isness of how it blink and works, we are all programmed through cause and effect mind programs. This is the format. And once you've got it as a child, anything after seven, it's history. If you ever want cause and effect to get an effect, cause to get an effect. Personal acknowledgement, attention, reaction. You get a positive reaction, your sub's going to think it's love. These can be clearable. This is what Irani and I do, because the one thing that will clear this is the gold energy inside of your subconscious mind. That's what we use. We use the person's soul or Holy Spirit to clear it. Where's my finger? There we go. That thing over there, there's a flame over there somewhere. That's your super consciousness. You can clear these things. As soon as you start repeating a pattern, you're running a triangle. Just remember that. If you need a hand, or you would like a hand to clear these, get hold of us on being human. Drop us a message. We can do a one-on-one, -on -one, or you can do a course. Rani is sorting out a course in the next two weeks, two free nights, and we're going to get into this and we're going to start showing you how to clear these things. Okay, cause and effect, we're full of it. That's how our subconscious mind works. Okay, well, I reckon that's done it. Sit there and work out what kind of cause you have to create to get an effect. This could have chocolate in it. This could have alcohol in it. This could have be alone in it. Okay. Well, have a goodie, and uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.